Well, welcome back. This is day three. And we got some interesting stuff. I got some really good wax boxes. Um, we'll start off with, with this. I thought this was worth quite a bit more. Um, I saw some of the high ones in, in August gone for 50 or $60. But uh, I really have no idea what it's valued as a rookie LeBron James. I saved it from my store and uh, the package damaged a little on the bottom down there. I don't know how that affects anything, but I know the card is good and I don't think anyone really cares about the Hummer. Okay, put that over there. Then we got Jumbo. Jumbo box. Yeah, I don't know. Trying to do this with a phone here. Just can't believe that it fell. But anyway, so here we go. This is an HTA box. 12 packs. 35 cards in a pack. All sealed. Looks like a slight tear on the back, but yeah. All right, so I got that one. I mean, I, I saw that going for five, six thousand dollars. I don't know if it's valued at that, or that was just someone who wanted it really bad. Uh, there was a company in Pittsburgh that offered me thirty-two hundred for it. Steel City Cards, I believe. Um, if it checks out, you know, when they get it. Uh, anyway, let's go with some other singles here. Uh, I don't know if there's anything too awesome, but it's a 83 Walter Payton. Not too bad. It's nice. Oh, look at this. LeBron James rookie exclusive. It's in a sleeve. No. Well, I guess it was once being sold for twelve dollars. <laughs> I think it's worth a little more than that now. Nineteen ninety-eight tops Randy Moss. It's pretty nice. That's been in the top holder since we got it. Bowman, rookie Randy Moss. I liked him. Number eighteen, and then of course changed it to eighty-eight. This card here, someone traded it to me for a couple packs. It was a young kid, I don't know, Zenith. I'm not sure what the heck all this is about. I know it's not gold. But Jordan cards, people love Jordan cards. LeVar Arrington. Yeah, that was an interesting card. That was a really hot card for a while. Oh, another Bowman, Bobby Brown. Kind of looks like Bobby Brady. Well, centering's not that good. Not too bad a shape. Most of the Bowman cards that you see, they're in pretty decent shape. Centering's really tough. All right. Another Peyton Manning rookie. Again, this one has been in this holder since 1998. Another Randy Moss. Nice sunglasses. He was amazing. Him and, was it Randall Cunningham his first year? And then later Dante Culpepper. Here's a Troy Aikman Dream Team card. That's pretty cool. Clear Ultra. 2000. Troy Aikman. Another John Elway. Got a couple couple John Elways coming in. Again, the prices that you see have nothing to do with the card now. I have no idea what they're worth. Some are less, some are more. I'm not really that concerned. But I do want to get rid of them all. So, there's another John Elway. This looks like a playoff. 
97 playoff. Playoff? <laughs> These were cool. Living Legends. I remember had a couple others. There were people that collected them. Sold them at a couple card shows. And I got pretty good money for them. I don't think I got 15 for it, but I know I got at least 10 for the Joe Montana. And I forget who the other one was. Blitzkrieg. These are neat because some of them had a cutout. They were really cool. Really cool cards from Fleer Ultra. I think that was 95. Nope, 97. Sorry, my bad. We had a Troy Aikman like this the other day. Josh Beckett. He was he was a good pitcher there for a while. Certified autograph. Fleer. I don't know if this is 2000. there okay nice corners on this a little off center can't go wrong with the Terry Bradshaw though 74 tops there's a Harris I think there's a little stain on the top right corner there I think that's on the card I'm not sure let's take a look oh no no it's not but there's some other issues with the sides. It's a shame. Really nicely centered card. Uh, I don't know if that'd be a PSA five. I'm not sure. The only thing that would save it a lot, I think, is the centering. It's not too bad. 60-40 maybe, top and bottom. There's another Franco. I don't know why this doesn't have a little sleeve in there. Corners aren't too bad. Centering's. Not that great. Now this one, this one is really nice. This one would probably come back in eight, at least. Centering's a little off, it's a little crooked, you can see. But the corners are sharp. You can see corner there, corner there, corner there, corner there. Let's take a look at the back. Really nice card. Really nice. Oh, Mike Allstott. There we go. Nice autograph. Not, I'm not sure why he's in this pile, but he is. Another Oilers card. One of the few Earl Campbell cards. It's nicely centered. Right there. Ken Griffey Jr. Oh yes, 89 Bowman. Loved these cards until of course they couldn't fit into any of your card holders. It's crazy. Alright, here we got a pack of cards. So let's go through this. I'm not sure what's in here. I mean Sammy Sosa's on top. Sammy Sosa. I'll just put them back in here as I go. All right. Austin Kearns. I don't think that's worth anything anymore. He was a really good player there. He was, rookie cards were pretty hot. And Ken Griffey Jr. Pretty nice. I don't know what, what the heck that is down there. There's some kind of something on that bottom. That's weird. I don't know what that is. Very strange. There's another Sammy Sosa. No, I'm not using gloves. Giovanni Carmazzi. Yep, he was going to be the next Steve Young. Okay, we got Ricky Williams. Doing his Heisman. Mark Bulger. Bulger. Now he was good for a couple years. This is a rookie card numbered to 999. With the Saints. And got traded to the Rams. Hmm. Well, it looks like.
looks like I don't know, part of his. Not sure what happened there. Part of that card got ripped, or is that a towel? No, that's a towel. <laughs> Sorry. This is a nice card. It's thick. Tory Holt, number 25 out of 500. That's a nice card. Flare Showcase. Edgar and James. It's a gold or an orange or something like that, or bronze. Copper. A little glossy. Sean Alexander. He was a good running back. This is numbered out of a thousand. It's pretty nice. Okay, we were talking about Dante Culpepper before. Nice ultra, Fleer Ultra rookie, 1999. Here is another one. These were really nice, but these are hard to get in really good shape because they're always chipping. I mean, cool cards. I mean, that is neato. Okay, here we got Sean Casey, Dimitri Young. Nice card. I don't know if Sean Casey's worth anything anymore. I doubt it. Okay, here is another. I don't know. Is it Tim Rattay? San Francisco had all these young quarterbacks, and then they never developed them. Brett Farb, scoring core. It's got a nice picture of him on the front, different one on the back. And I got two Dan Marino cards here. One of my favorites growing up. And there's another one. Upper Realm, Encore. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what other wax we got. Again, goal is to try to sell this stuff eventually. All right. Let's see. We got, okay. I'm not sure what this is here. Epics. 10 packs. No, 10 cards per pack. Eight packs. Got Tim Tebow on it. I don't know if this is 2010. Panini. Originally sold for 20. Okay, there's another 2010 score. These are those little boxes I guess you get at Walmart. I didn't get them from Walmart. I got them from a, uh, a wholesaler somewhere. So I'm selling them. If I sold them for 10, I'm sure I got them for a little less than that or at least 10. But I don't think more than that. Okay, let's oh this is nice. 2010 Absolute Memorabilia. That back there. So I don't know, those boxes are ten years old already. Okay, what's this? This is a set of 2006. Complete set. All sealed. Okay. Okay, whoa. Okay, those of you that like old basketball, 96-97 Series 2 Fleer Metal. I'm guessing this is going to have a Kobe in it, maybe an Iverson. I'm not sure. I'd have to look it up. Um, but nice sealed box. 24 years old. Really nice. Um, if it's got the Kobe in it, I'm sure that it's a couple hundred dollar box. It says Hobby Packs. Look for premiums. says 36 hobby no there's not 36 it's got to be a 24 pack box can't really see where it says it on here I'm trying to find it my eyes are not quite as good as they used to be but that was nice that's a nice box 
Okay. Oh, look at this. Wax packs. I mean, this is wax from 83. I don't know. Some people collect these. 1980. And there's a different one. I wonder if that could have been Franco Harris. No, he wasn't 30. No, 34 was Walter Payton, dummy. Uh, it could be Jack Lambert there, 58. Okay, 87. 87, there's another 83. 80. I don't think that's Earl Campbell. I'm not sure what white guy was number 34. All right, um, this is a 2006 NFL Players Rookie Premier Box. Mario Williams, Reggie Bush, Vince Young, Matt Liner, Lawrence Maroney, D'Angelo Williams, among others. And I think like one per case gets a autograph card or something like that. So you got your chance of one out of 24 to get an autograph of someone from the set. Oh, now these were cool. These are movie motion vision or movie, movie motion vision cards. They, they were neat because yeah, you like move them, you get like three seconds of uh, video. Pretty cool. Okay, this is an old one. Okay, and this is 1992 Skybox. Yeah, I don't think you're going to get too much in there other than a lot of cards. You can see what they look like. Christian Okoye, pretty cool. I mean, you're going to get your stars from that day. Joe Montana, possibly on the Chiefs, <laughs> something like that. Okay, well, we got some baseball here. Um... Again, these are all sealed hobby boxes. 2004 Draft Picks and Prospects. This used to be a hot box in 2005 and maybe even 06. But after that, I think whatever was in there kind of dried up. I don't know if there's anybody special. But it was cool because it had chrome in there too. But the 2002 boxes and three boxes, they, they sold really well. 2004, not quite as well. Okay. 2002 Bowman Baseball. Okay. A lot of these Bowman, they, they kind of look the same. Let me see, I was selling that for 30. 24 packs, 10 cards per pack. Again, I don't know what these boxes are going for now. I mean, I will take all you know, reasonable offers on any of these items. So I think we had one of these last night. This one looks like little corner, but I don't think that would have affected any packs inside. 24 packs, 10 cards per pack. So I think the jumbo we had was 35 cards per pack and 10. So you get basically get like a box and a, a third or a little more than a box and a third. Okay, what's this here? This is a 1995 complete set of, oh, playoff, playoff, playoff contenders, 1995 complete set. I'm not sure who's all in here, but, uh, It's like a 150 card set, maybe. Oh, here's the rookies at the end. Let's take a look at some of the rookies. Rashawn Salam. Michael Westbrook. He was good. Warren Sapp. Good player. Joey Galloway. Good player. J.J. Stokes. Good player. Cordell Stewart. Well, he was good for a few years. Mark Brunner, Mike Mamula, I remember him, Napoleon Kaufman, pretty decent runner, Roy, no, Ray Zeller, I don't really remember too much about him, Eric 
Zyre. Remember, he was a flop. Sorry, Mr. Zyre, if you're watching the video. I'm sure you would have did better if you weren't with the Browns. Curtis Martin, awesome player. Kyle Brady had some issues. Tyrone Wheatley, he was a solid runner for a few years. Eric Bjorsom, don't really remember him too much, but I'm not really a Cowboy fan. Chad May, I remember him. Maybe. James Stewart. Definitely a good running back. Could have been a lot better had he been given more opportunities. Rob Johnson had his good years and his bad years. Tony Baselli. There we go. You know, if the Texans would have never picked him in the supplemental draft in 2002, David Carr would have probably had an offensive line that would have been great. Uh, but he wound up, what, never even playing a down or something. Rodney Thomas, remember him. Kachana Carter, he had a couple good games. I don't really know much more than that. Chris Sanders, name rings a bell. Steve McNair, boy, I was so sad when I found out he passed away. That was sad. Real good quarterback. Hated him, though, as a Steeler fan. I mean, he just... But... Luther Ellis. I know he's pretty decent. There we go. Here's the coup de grace. Terrell Davis. So, that, that's your big one right there. And let's see. Sherman Williams. I think he was paint guy. Uh, Kerry Collins, he grew up in a town close to where I grew up, and in when I used, where I used to sell in Lebanon, there was a, his mother used to come by and always buy his cards. She was nice, very nice lady, although I think I was speaking bad about Kerry the one day, and she happened to be there, and then I don't think she bought any more cards from me after that. Uh, Todd Collins, Frank Sanders, not bad. Stony Case, I liked him, but yeah. So those are your rookies. That's that's not a bad set. That is not a bad set. I was selling that for twenty bucks. Wow, I don't think so. Just keep it. All right, let's see what else we got here. Um, another two thousand six score. I think we had one of these yesterday. Another 2006 score. 36 packs in those boxes. Oh, what's this? This is 2008 score. Parallel cards. Okay, what's this? This is a... 2006 Giants set. Yeah, these things cost me, I think, like 30 bucks. I couldn't sell them for cost. I was selling them originally for 35. I tried to sell them for 20, but I don't think I ever made it to the card show. I don't remember. It's been so long. Oh, we got another one here Green Bay Packers. I guess the dream would be for someone to say, hey, man, I saw the video. Let's make a deal on everything. I'd be like, yeah, cha-ching. Not because I'm going to make money, but just because I'm all going to get rid of it all. 93 power update. Now, these are tough because some of the boxes, if they're kept in the heat, a lot of these cards stuck together. But the big deal with this was your Trent Green. When Trent Green became really good, these cards, Power update cards. These were his rookies. And I used to open these up because I liked Trent Green. I liked him even before Kurt Warner came on the scene. I got a bunch of his autographs. 2006 draft picks and prospects. I remember, every time I look at this, I'm thinking that it's Ben Roethlisberger, but it's not. And Matt Leiner. I guess he could have been a Roethlisberger look-alike. He's like, no, you're crazy, man. No way. Yeah, I didn't say they were identical twins. 
Fleer. These are nice. These are actually really nice cards. Remember opening up a box of those. Please. Okay, what's this? 1980. Oh, I'm sorry. 2003. Uh, 2003 Tops Baseball. 36 packs. 10 cards per pack. Really nice. Really nice. Alright, two boxes to go. Oh. Kickoff. 2005. Aaron Rodgers, rookie. 24 packs, six cards a pack. Quick math, that's 144. Okay, here we go. What about this one? Bowman's rookie and star. Bowman rookies and stars. LeBron James rookie. I saw these going on sale for anywhere between $3,000 and $4,000. Steel City offered me $3,200 for it. Um, if they would have offered me it last year, I definitely would have sold it. I sold them quite a few things last year. A lot of my 2005, 2001 uh, stuff. Really nice stuff I sold them. But anyway, yeah, this is sealed. This has no rips, no tears. Oh, I'm sorry. Looks like there's one right there, but other than that, sealed box. So that takes care of all the wax here. I think I still have two more big containers. I've got a couple. Look at I don't know what's, what these are all about. These are some 91 <laughs> PGA Tour golf cards. I don't know who's in these. I know there's no Tiger Woods. That was before him. I, don't know. I think I remember buying these, and my dad was a golfer, so he liked stuff. So I gave him some of these cards one year. Um, these here, these are, I don't know, these are all mystery packs. I don't know where these came from. They could have been from a pizza box. I have no idea. Oh, what's this? Oh, hold on, there's some other stuff here. I got a Willie Mays reprint. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, these are cool. You know, I'm going to save these for another another time. They, I'm going to save those for another time. But hey, thanks for watching.